Hi, here's an update on the QRP Tracker project, my full Doppler tuning program fit on an Atmel microcontroller. I'm going to show you a couple of FM contacts, wholly tuned by QRP Tracker, and we'll see, then see how well the tracker stays on frequency while tuning a low orbit satellite beacon. Okay, I copy your Foxtrot November 3-4. My call, Victor Echo Niner, Quebec Radio Papa, QRP. And my grid square is Foxtrot November 7-5, FM 7-5, QSL. Okay, Roger, old man, uh, Kilo 8, Yankee, Sierra, Echo. My call, Victor Echo 9, Quebec Radio Papa. Quebec Radio Papa, and I'm located in Foxtrot, November 7-5. QSL? Next, you're going to see a composite screen with the serial output of QRP Tracker, uh, SAT PC32, which uh, won't be tuning the radio, and Spectran to observe the frequency shift of the downlink. You can see that the uh, beacon is being tuned uh, somewhere between 500 and 600 hertz. Uh, I'm just speeding up the output now so that you can watch that uh, beacon being tuned over a few minutes time as the satellite uh, comes a little closer. Every once in a while you'll see the uh, frequency shift lower uh, quite markedly and that's while the QRP tracker is announcing there it just went by uh, that's when the QRP tracker is announcing in CW and at that point it doesn't tune the radio uh, there's another one that just went by and uh, during that time the uh, the Doppler shift takes over nevertheless the uh, tuning is uh, quite quite accurate Another feature of the project that you can take a look at here is the serial output in the bottom left uh, quadrant of the screen. Uh, that's uh, uh, coming from the uh, QRP tracker telling you something about what it thinks is the azimuth and elevation of the bird as well as um, the name of the bird, the mode it's in. That's it for now. You want updates, uh, go to my blog at ve9qrp.blogspot.com. 73.